if you caught the last video, then you saw an example of finding uh, intervals where a function is increasing and decreasing using a graph. Uh, here we're just going to use the expression of the function uh, to find those intervals. And to do this, we're going to use the first derivative. So the first derivative, let me get my pen going here. I guess I should have had that ready before I started recording. Uh, the first derivative for number 17, which is the one I want to look at here, is 4x plus 1. So you'll notice I have one critical point here. If I set this equal to 0 and I solve, I get x equals negative 1 fourth or negative uh, 0 0.25. And then the idea is that we're going to line this thing up sort of on a number line with negative 1 fourth indicated there. And I'm going to test each side of negative 1 fourth to see if the derivative is positive or negative. This is called a sine diagram. So uh, a value that's less than negative one-fourth is negative one. So I'm going to test negative one. And a value that's bigger than negative one-fourth is zero. I'm going to test zero. And I'll plug those into the first derivative just to get an idea of the value, the sign of the first derivative. So let's start with zero. If I plug 0 into my first derivative right here, I'm going to get 0 plus 1, which is positive 1. And since there are no other critical points anywhere to the right of negative 1 fourth, I know that that first derivative is always going to stay positive. So I indicate that with positive signs. If it's positive anywhere in this interval, then it's positive everywhere. Because if it changed back to negative, it would have crossed 0. Let's do the same thing with negative 1. If I plug negative 1 into my derivative, I get negative 4 plus 1, which is negative 3. And that tells me that everywhere to the left of negative 1 fourth is going to have a negative first derivative. Now, sometimes the signs, you know, putting the signs on the diagram doesn't send the point home, so let me indicate it like this. When the first derivative is negative, my graph goes downward from left to right, like that arrow there. When the first derivative is positive, the graph goes upward from left to right. And so now you can see that I basically have got two intervals. I have an interval where this function is decreasing, and that is on uh, negative infinity. Oh, goodness. Let's try and write this a little clearer here negative infinity all the way up to negative one-fourth. And I ran out of space. And this thing is increasing. From negative one-fourth all the way to positive infinity. So for any other positive number. And we did that, we accomplished all of this by using the first derivative and making a sign diagram. So that's number 17. Um, let me know if you have any other questions, and good luck. Actually, I signed off a little early there. I wanted to show you, um, if you throw our function that we were uh, investigating into a graphing tool like Desmos Graphing Calculator, you'll see uh, that we did interpret this correctly. That on the left-hand side, this function is decreasing up until this point right here, which you can see on my grid here is negative one-fourth, and then it's increasing on this side. So we did pick out the right intervals. From negative infinity to negative one-fourth, it's decreasing. From negative one-fourth to positive infinity, it is increasing. And I encourage you to use a graphing tool to verify your findings that you're doing uh, when you use a derivative test. Nothing wrong with uh, looking at a graph. We have these tools so that you can use them to, um, you know, make you feel a little more confident about the math that you're doing. Now I'll say good luck.